like a crazy person. Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm in my beauty room, hence my cute fuzzy chair and all my makeup stuff. Today I'm going to talk about all of the nursing essentials you need for school. So if you are going into the nursing program or thinking about going into the nursing program or starting in the fall, starting real quick, these are essentials that I have found that I needed throughout school to succeed to make it through all the things. If you don't know much about me, I go to Hudson University in Bangor, Maine, and I am in my last semester of my junior year, so I'm almost a senior. This is my fourth year of college because I transferred. I went to a community college to get all of my prereqs done, and then I transferred to a four-year program. So I am about to graduate. I am very familiar with the clinical thing and the classes thing and just how nursing school is going because junior year is definitely the hardest but these are all the things that I think I need and also to preface my school will probably be different than other schools I know a lot of schools do things different so some of the clothing you have to wear might be different that kind of thing so don't take this completely seriously but for like your outfit and essentials like that such thing talk to your school about it figure out what their requirements are and go from there but this is not just those things it's things that you can buy regardless of your school's requirements and i'm gonna jump right into it so this might be a little all over the place because i just have a bunch of stuff laid out in front of me and i don't really know where to start i don't have a list or anything i'm just gonna kind of go off all right we're gonna start with a planner. This is crucial for nursing school. Let me tell you there are so many tests and other tests and homework and group projects and clinicals and class schedules and t you know all the things that you need to have a planner to be able to keep track of it all. I know I would not be able to live without this thing. All of my life is in here. I would not know what the heck to start with or where to go what to do if I didn't have this. So I got this at Marshalls. I've gotten all of mine at Marshalls. They're pretty. Personally, I like that it has a little start page to the month and then it has the full calendar of the month and here I color code all my stuff. So I have green um, is school, hence our colors. And then like appointments are in blue and work is in pink and that kind of stuff and then it breaks down into the weeks and it has a little like to do column and just another column for what you're doing that week this was a totally blank week because i wasn't in school yet but like this is kind of what it looks like i also color code on there in my monthly thing i put all of my appointments holidays class schedules and work schedules and then in my breakdown of the week is where i'll rewrite those things but also add like everything I need to do in those days homework that's due tests etc this is I'm telling you like super super crucial you need to get a planner so along with like school supplies type stuff you're gonna need notebooks I have gone through like god knows how many notebooks in my whole school career I personally like to write down everything because it keeps in my memory if I write it versus if I type it on a computer but you could also get an iPad and have the notes thing I see a lot of people doing that these days you could get a laptop to be able to just do notes on Google Docs or whatever but I use notebooks I have one for each class and then I have one that I labeled with masking tape just my study guides are just in this one so definitely need these super necessity another thing i have found super helpful throughout school is i did binders in like middle school and then i went to folders and i did folders for college for the first few years but this year i have decided to get one of these it's an accordion fold folder so it has all of these sections and i just labeled each one my clinical or my class or my online classes and we don't get a ton of paper now because most of everything is done online you're not getting handouts but i do have paperwork i have to print off and submit electronically but it has to be handwritten so then it all just goes in here and it's just one thing that has to go in my bag and it's all organized by class and it's really helpful so that's pretty much what's in my backpack that's like essential for nursing school i mean obviously i have pens pencils highlighters all the things that you would normally need for school anyways another thing i have found super helpful for school is a set of markers so i just have this little thing that i got at hobby lobby that looks like a book and i have all of these type of 
markers in there like these. They are the Stabilo 0.88. Fine 04 just colored marker pencil things and I do all of my study guides in these because it's a lot easier to Organize with colors. It's also why I use highlighters. I use highlighters in all of my notes for school So this I find helpful and then on the notes of things you need a laptop like nursing school is revolved around the laptops online classes and whatever so laptop is needed in class even though i don't type up my notes i hand write them i still need a laptop because i pull up the powerpoint everything is on this this is you wouldn't survive college without a laptop so i have a macbook pro that's from 2012 it's really 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 old i got it when i was a freshman in high school but it's still pushing it's missing a foot thing if you can't tell but still works still use it every single day I ever need school. It's on my laptop. Okay, so now I'm gonna get kind of into the, like the clothing, clinical attire, simulation attire. So in nursing school, you have simulations and you have clinicals. So clinicals are when you are out on the floor, in the hospitals, in the doctor's offices, you know, wherever you tend to be, it's when you're out there doing hands-on stuff with real patients. Simulations are with your school, with your teachers, and you have a mannequin or another student acting as a patient and you are simulating a situation that might be going on. Both of those times, I have to wear scrubs. So, for my school personally, this is not every school, we have green pants and then we have white tops. I ordered the pants through my school, but I ordered the tops separately i ordered the school's tops and i hated them they were like unisex and they just made me look like a box so i ordered the gray's anatomy i don't really know if there's like a name to this scrub top but i just ordered the gray's anatomy one it has pull things in the back and it fits me really well and our school requires a patch and then we have a little bar patch that represents like the grade that we're in so this means where i'm a junior and then we get two when we're a senior i don't really know but I do, if your school requires this, I do highly recommend. My mom sewed on my patch, but when it got came to these, I didn't want to have to get, like, a bunch of these. Because these were $2 a piece. They gave us these for free, but just one. And I have multiple tops. So, life hack for all of you nursing students. Get fabric Velcro. Literally just sticks on. It stays perfect. Like, I have had no problems with it falling off. And you just do it on both sides. And you just rip it off. And then you can put one side on all of your scrub tops and then just the other side on one of these and then you can just stick it on and it's ready to go it's you could do the same with the patches definitely recommend it so you don't have to buy a ton or get a ton of these patches and sew them all especially since i don't know how to heck and sew so very very helpful but those are my school's requirements that's what you need to ask your school about what do they require for your outfits but i also recommend getting undershirts for your scrub tops. Like us, we have white shirts. Everything is see-through. They were so strict about this that we have to wear something underneath our tops so that we aren't flashing patients, especially as girls, or seeing through our to our bras. It's just not professional. So I definitely recommend getting a long sleeve or short sleeve undershirts, um, especially for school. I know not everyone as nurses does this because it's not a, the same, but when you're affiliated with the school, you have to be super professional on the floor so that your school looks good, so that you look good for future jobs. So I have the Adar long sleeve. I think I just got it on Amazon, but it's just a long sleeve, like tight white top and it goes under all my scrubs and it's great and they aren't super, super hot. Like I'm, I worked, I worked on the OB floor and I'm on peds right now and it, it's hot on those floors, especially OB, uh, because they want to keep all the babies warm and on peds at my hospital specifically, it's on the top floor. So it, all the heat rises to that floor, but I'm never overheated. So those are perfect. Another thing that we have to have are all white sneakers. I don't have them with me right now, they're in my car, but they have to be all white. There can't be anything other than white on them. So I got just a Nike white, all white sneakers. They are fairly cheap not that expensive but they've held up really well they're easy to clean uh, we have to have white socks with them too so our school is very strict about what we wear on the floor 
but I definitely another life hack for nursing shoes that I didn't learn until this year until a nurse on the floor told me about it you shouldn't keep your shoes in your house I wear slippers outside like outdoor like moccasin slippers to outside and then I change my shoes in my car and then I change back into my slippers when I leave the hospital at the end of the day now I'm gonna get into some of the nursing supplies that we need so one thing that you definitely will need is a watch so I have the Apple watch I just have the first series it's like really old it doesn't do a whole lot but it gets the job done it's really nice because you're constantly writing the date you're constantly finding the time to chart your things when you're on the floor you it's great for um, trying to do respirations and all that stuff and counting pulses and all of that. I will say that it's kind of hard to do that on the Apple Watches because the screen goes away, so you're constantly like doing this thing to look at the clock while you're counting, and then it's really hard to keep track of it all, especially when you're doing babies. It, they're very irregular and that kind of thing, so it was really hard for me to do both. So yeah, that's important. I would get a watch, even if it's just an easy, basic face watch probably going to be more helpful honestly so other things that you are going to need is i have a separate plain folder for all of my clinical paperwork that i need on the floor so when we go on the floor each week we have a handful of paperwork that we have to do and it's due the next day so i just keep all of that paperwork in here and then when it's finished i transfer it into my accordion fold binder and this also houses um, different notes that I need on the floor. So we have to do a lot of nursing diagnoses. So I printed off the 2017 accepted nursing diagnoses list. I have right now pretty much I'm just on peds. So like assessment for pediatrics and the right vitals for peds. And I also have printed off my, um, I've also printed off my vaccination sheet, so if for some reason a site needs me to hand it to them physically, I have a copy just in case. Although most of that is done online and through your school and all that. So another thing that I have is a stethoscope, a stethoscope case. My mom got this for me for Christmas, so I'm not sure exactly where she got it. I'd imagine Amazon because that's where she lives. But it's really nice. It holds... Nothing falls out holds my stethoscope on this side and then there's a pouch for all of my junk on this side. So now I'm going to talk about my stethoscope. I have the Littman Classic, the Littman Classic 3 stethoscope. My brother got this for me for Christmas. It's in this purple color. I have two little charms on it, which you can get on allheart.com, which is a very good website for scrubs and all of that stuff. And Amazon you can get them also my brother got my name engraved on the inside of my bell diaphragm here um, That makes it so no one can steal my stuff because this is expensive, but I do highly recommend Litman's They're the best of the best everybody has them It's just a really good stethoscope to get you through and it will last you into your job if you take care of it properly so other things that I use on the floor are just the, these yellow notepads, which are these. And I just rip one off and I put it in my pocket and this is where I take all of my notes for the day. Vitals, things I need to chart, eyes, nose, all that stuff. I write on these little notepads. Makes things easier. I know some of my friends have the little notepads on the rings like that are like this big. Those are really good too. Another thing that I keep on, on me and in my pockets at all times are alcohol wipes you can steal them from your hospital you're not stealing you're just take a good little bunch and keep them i keep them in this all the time and i stick a ton in my pocket when i'm on the floor you're constantly cleaning your stethoscope and cleaning scrubbing the hubs on different iv sites and all of that so very helpful to have on not a lot of people carry them i feel like i do and then everyone always takes them so it's just good to have your own. I also have an umpteen amount of pens on the floor. I have at least two or three in my pocket. I also have a pen light, um, which is really good for neurological assessments, obviously. So I always have one of these. Also in my stethoscope case that I keep and put in my pockets are nursing scissors. I just got these on allheart.com. They're just easy bandage scissors to cut gauze and tape and all that stuff. Another thing that I just personally keep in my stethoscope case is this little thing of bobby pins and hair ties just in case. Um, your hair has to be up, I know, for schools at least. 
so I always have that on hand if I need it. Um, other very random things that I have all the time is a little hand sanitizer I keep in my bag. I always just have one in my backpack, in my car, everywhere. I've gotten into just wanting hand sanitizer all the time. So another thing that I think is nursing essential, this is just random stuff from my clinical. I'm gonna do a like what's in my backpack and clinical bag video soon just so you can see everything that I take with me to school and on the floor. But another nursing essential that I think is really great is this little book. It's a drug guide. It's the 2019 Lippincott. Lippincott Pocket Drug Guide for Nurses. I got this on Amazon. Looks like this. It just fits right in my pants pocket. Those ones are pretty big, so I just keep this with me when I need to look up a drug or medication that I don't know what it is or I don't know the dose. And a lot of peds is calculating doses for them because it's by their weight. So all this stuff, very, very helpful in this little book just to have on me at all times. Another thing that you're gonna need is, this is my badge, which I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna show the hospital that I'm at. Just one thing you're gonna need is one of these little badge clips. So I got this one from the hospital, but it just clips onto my scrubs and it pulls and it's easy because you're dinging into doors all the time. So you, it's just easy not to have to like take it off. And there's ones that like, if you don't have one of these, it's just this little plastic piece and then it, you have it kind of, yeah, it's just not. So I highly recommend having one of these. You can make them. I know me and my mom are gonna paint on some soon. You can order them on Amazon, all that stuff. Another really random thing that I have that I think is helpful is Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. So because you're using hand sanitizer and washing your hands all the time, your hands and fingers get really, really dry, and I tend to have dry skin anyways, so this stuff helps. I put it on pretty much every night, just around my, on my fingernails, around my cuticles, and it just helps keep them not from cracking, because you don't want that when you're working with patients anyways, even though my nails are terrible, but it does help, even just a little bit, so if you have really dry hands like me, that's very helpful. I think that that's pretty much everything that I suggest. I know one more thing that I'm looking to get online soon are, um, I'll put the link in bio if I remember, but they're these, they're from Tribe RN. They're little cards that attach to like the same thing as your, this badge clip. It attaches with your name tag and it, I mean, there's like 50 in there or something crazy, 25 or something. And it's all cheat sheets. So it's like normal lab values or like normal vital values for peds. It's things for OB. It's the, like it's how to read uh, EKGs. It's all the stuff that you could ever need. And I think that that's going to be really helpful to have on the floor. So I'm not constantly like, what's it supposed to be? Because you're still learning and you, you're not going to know right off the bat all that stuff. So I'm going to get those. Another thing I just very much suggest to anyone going into nursing school is to find a group of people that you can study with, that you can confide in, that you can cry about things with. Nursing school is tough. It's insane. I contemplate dropping out every day, but I know that it's what I'm meant to do. It's what I want to do. I'm so excited to graduate in a year. It was really hard transferring to schools because I didn't know anybody and everybody kind of knew each other in their in my class already because they had already been together for a year or two. They had already been together for a year, so it was really hard to get into pe like a group, but the people that I was partnered with for clinicals and simulations and that stuff, I had just befriended. And now I have a really fantastic group of people. Pretty much my whole class is really close actually, and we all help each other out. But I am really thankful for the people that I study with because I don't know if I would study as much as I do if we didn't get together pretty much every time. The night before we have an exam, we all make quizzes for each other, we make study guide papers for each other like we just are out here like helping each other out and i think it's so so important and vital to have a group of people in nursing school that you can trust and that you can help with because it's freaking hard it's really hard definitely find that group of people that will help you out and get through nursing school it's definitely definitely needed so that's pretty much all i have for this vlog today i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any more nursing school questions for me or suggestions or for videos or whatever please let me know i really appreciate feedback and things that you guys are curious and seeing 
I have posted a few more other videos if you want to go check them out about my nursing school. I posted one about my clinical weekend and how I survive two 12 hours in a row. I've posted a week in my life beginning of school vlogs. Um, yeah, I can do more on how to survive nursing school and that kind of stuff, but I think these these things that I've talked about today have really helped me get through nursing school and have helped me survive. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Like, subscribe, comment, you know all the things. You just, you just know all the things. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye! Bleh.